I want to welcome you to a new week of In Him Scripture Study. This is week 23. We've been in this study for 23 weeks and got several weeks to go on this list. I want you to, I want to encourage you to go back to our uh, website and download this list and, and, and get in this scripture study with us. Go back to June the 21st of 2021 and listen to this entire series. This is a series to help build your faith. Faith in what? Faith in God. Faith in what He has written down for you to know for yourself. Faith in in who you are in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, if you're born again. And if you're not born again, who you can be and who, who God says that you are if you'll accept Him as your Lord and Savior. I want to encourage you, get in this study with us. We want to help you be strong, be strong in who God says you are, not who religion says you are, not what the, the mistakes of this world and what you the, the, the sin that you've committed in this world, not what they say, not what that, what, how you feel about yourself. No, I want you to live in the truth in what God says you are, who God says you are. There's millions in this world that don't know who they are in Jesus Christ. I know. I I was one of them. I spent uh, the biggest part of four decades of my life not knowing who God says that I, I was in my life because I've been born again since my early 20s. But I struggled and fretted and, and lived in doubt and fear and unbelief for a lot of years, not knowing that God had a lot more for me than I was, than I was living in. And it all come out of His Word. It all come out of all the, the writings that He has written down for us in, in finding out who we are. Who we, who he has made us to be because we are his born again children. Jesus is our savior. Now, if he's not your savior, I want to invite you, make him your savior today. All these podcasts, every one of them, you're going to have an invitation to be born again. And it's very easy to confess Jesus as Lord of your life with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. That's all it takes to be born again. Confession confession of his lordship over your life is all it takes to be born again. Believe in your heart that Jesus that God raised him from the dead. That Jesus came down here and died on the cross for your sins. And he, and God raised him from the dead on the third day. If you believe that, you're one step away from being born again. Confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. Be born again today. And then get in this study with us and find out who God says you are. My prayers for you come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul wanted the Ephesians to to get hold of and understand the love that God has for them. And this and in this holiday season, you know, yesterday was Thanksgiving and and in this holiday season, I want more than anything for people to see and understand that that God loves them. He's for them. He's for you, not against you. And Paul wanted the Ephesians to know that. That's the reason I do these Ephesian prayers every time I do this weekly podcast because I want the world to know and understand just how much God cares for them. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. 
God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head uh, over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he has opened my eyes to that love. He opens my eyes more and more to that love every day of my life. Every day I get into his word and understand that he's for me. Oh, I thank God for that. And I pray today that you find that out. Find it out in his word today. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing in our lives, in the people's lives that are listening to this podcast, in this podcast, and, and sending it all over this world for people to hear it. People are hearing it in India and all over the Middle East, all over this planet and I thank you, God, that you have commissioned me in that to do that. Guide and direct today, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be taking my scriptures today out of Romans 6 and 8. And it says, Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Now, let me read that in the, in the New Living and the Amplified. It says, and since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. And it says, now, if we have died with Christ, this is the Amplified Classic Version, it said, now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is living with Christ, living in him. Getting to the point in your life that, that you, you measure everything by what he says. You measure everything by the word and, and what, what he has said in that word to, to take us and put us where we need to be. Oh, I thank God for, for his word and the, and the guidance that it brings. And when we come to know and understand how much God is, is just, how much more he wants to, to be part of our lives. You see, there's people out here in this world that, that think God's a tyrant when really he's a loving father. You know, this picture that I, I use all the time, and I'll put it in the notes, this picture, it speaks volumes about who, who God really is. And living with Christ in our hearts and living with the Holy Spirit guiding us and directing us through God's Word. And when you speak and, and, and get so centered in God's Word, you won't be so easily made to forget who God really is. Because I promise you, He's not that old tyrant that, that religions made Him out to be. That, that unpleasable human being sitting on a throne with a hammer in one hand and a lightning bolt in the other just waiting for me to mess up. That ain't God. That's religion. That's religion. And God is the picture of, of, of the Father in, in, in the Luke uh, 15, 11 through 24. He's that Father that's look, watching the horizon, waiting on his child to come to him. 
That's what God wants us to do. He don't want He don't want us out here in this world fending for ourselves. He just like the prodigal son. The prodigal son took off and and went and 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 blew everything he had, spent it all, wasted it, wasted it, and and found out that 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 what he had at home was far more important. The Bible says he came to himself. And when he came to himself, he said, My father has has servants that are that have more than I do to eat. I'm gonna go home and be a servant. I'm gonna be a hired servant in my daddy's house. But when he got home, his father didn't allow that. Why? Because he was his son. God desires that we all are his children, that we all accept him as our Father, and accept Jesus as Lord of our lives. And that's how you, be, you become a child of God, as, as being, uh, being born again and allowing Jesus to come into your heart. See, that's living with Christ. I, I want to urge you today, you, you say, well, how do I live with Christ? You live with His Word. You live with His Word. I'm, I want to look up a couple of scriptures this morning. And and I, that's what I want to uh, talk to you about today is living with Christ. And you say, well, how do I do that? I'm going to explain this to you in, in two different sets of scriptures. And it, one of them is Joshua 1. And starting with the sixth verse, it says, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers, to give the, or to, until their fathers to give them. It says, Only be strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. You say, Well, that's talking about the law. No. We've got to look at it in, in our vernacular. What did it say? Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe and do according to all the word, all the word, the, God, the, the word that God has given us to live in, to walk in, to live by, to believe it. And I'm going to look, look at this eighth verse. It says, when this book of the law or the book of the word shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Do you want to have good success today? Live in Christ. Live in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Live in what he's written down for you to believe and understand. Live in what God has given you to live and understand in. Now, I've got another scripture for you. It's Psalms 4 and the 20th verse. Let me get to it here. It's, it says, no, that's, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not Psalms. It's Proverbs. I don't know why I said Psalms. I knew better. Proverbs 4 and 20. It says, by, let's see. Let me get over here to it. It says, my son, attend to my words. In other words, pay attention to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life to those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Listen to me. Understand what I'm talking about today. If you will incline your ear, pay attention Pay attention, attend to God's word. Allow God's word to, to not only not only enter your mind, but get down into your heart. You say, Well, how do I how do I do that? You meditate on it. You meditate it over and over and you 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 walk, you know, you roll it around in your mind and you say, God speak to me. Holy Spirit guide me. Help me to see what God wants me to see out of this verse. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There's, time, there's been times in my life that I'd read a verse and I'd get something. Oh, it'd be eye-opening. I'd read it again six months later and God give me something, just, just something completely the opposite of what I got before. God's Word is vast. It's deep. 
It's strong. And if you will put it in your heart, the Holy Spirit's got something to work with you with. And that's because it's truth. It's truth. I heard a, a preacher talk about it one time. You know, he said he said he he he, he heard another preacher just 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 got all over him, uh, just got into a place that he was he he wanted to hear from God so bad. It was just it was it was just it bothered him. He had gotten so just so distraught about what was going on. He wanted to hear from God. He wanted to hear from God. He wanted God to speak to him. Wanted him to to you know just come and speak to him. And and he said after he had fasted and and done all that he done, the Lord did speak to him. He spoke he spoke to him the exact the exact scripture that he could have read months and months before that when he was struggling and 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 going through things he 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 wanted god to 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 show him and he had showed him he had showed him in his word that's what i'm talking about living with christ living with him today i know we're going to be we're going to we're all going to die one of these days and if we're born again, live with Him forever. I'm talking. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about living in Him today, living with Him today, and and you do that through His Word. You want God to speak to you today? Pick up His Word, because I promise you, when when you read in His Word, it's God speaking to you. It's Jesus speaking to you. It's Him speaking life into you. It's him speaking his will into you because I've heard it over and over in my Christian life. I've heard people stand up before a congregation of people and say, I want the word, of God. I want the will of God to be done in my life. That is my earnest desire that the will of God be done in their life, in my life. I've heard that over and over in my life. But yet I've heard people also say, you know, I don't understand what this verse of Scripture means. I don't understand where God is coming from with this verse of Scripture. They, they tend not to believe things that they don't want to believe. When that very, that very book that I'm so adamant on pushing you to, to believe and understand is the will of God. And if you want to know God's will for your life, Find out what God's Word says about the situation that you're in, that you're dealing with, what you're looking for in your life. You say, well, I'm looking for a direction. Well, find that direction out. Find out what the Holy Spirit will tell you in through God's Word to look at and understand. That's what, that's what I'm talking about, living with Christ, living in His Word, living in Him and what He says that you are. That's why I'm so adamant in this in him scripture study for people to get this list, download this list, and go through. Go back to June the 21st, 2021, and go through this study with us. Because when you go through this study and, and you, you take each one of these scriptures on a daily basis or do 10 of them a day, I mean, these, these, these podcasts ain't but about 20 something minutes long. Do 10 of them a day. I mean, that's, that's, what? I don't know how much that is. I'd have to do a, get a calculator, but it's not many hours. It's, you can do If you do 20 minutes a day, you can do three an hour. So if you do 10 of them, it take you four hours to do all that. And, and you can listen to them while you're working. Put your headphones in. Listen to them. Find out what God is saying in his word. You'll find out a lot about your life. You'll find out a lot about the direction that he wants you in. That's what living with Christ is all about, living in his word. Glory to God. Now, I've got a question for you today. Are you born again? Do you believe God is who he says he is and, and Jesus came and died on the cross for our sins and was raised on the third day for our justification? Do you believe God is who he says he is? Because if you do you're one step away from being born again. All you have to do, Romans 10 and 9 says it, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus 
And thou, if thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all you got to do to be born again is to confess Jesus as Lord of your life. Believe that God raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. You are saved and don't let anybody tell you any different. That's what the Word says. But believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. And when you believe on him, I promise you, it will come out your mouth. Glory to God. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today. Confess him as Lord today and watch him change your life forever. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need him to do in your life. If you got a prayer request, send it to us. Send it to us. I want to send you scriptures that you can stand strong on, that I will stand with you on according to that prayer request. I want to send you what God's word says about that prayer request. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. Now, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do. And that is to give his word away free of charge to anybody that'll listen. Oh, I thank God for people that are standing strong with us, doing what we're doing, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, whether you're a partner or whether you're not, share these, this podcast on your social media. Share our website on your social media. Share it so others can see and understand what God is saying to them, for them, and about them in His Word. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into His kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. Dot com.